In December of 2022, the German government announced it would supply Ukraine with more than 18 Boxer Remote Controlled Howitzers, or RCH-155. First introduced in 2014, the new artillery system combines an automatic and remote controllable artillery gun module with the combat-tested Boxer Wheeled Armored Vehicle. The RCH-155 is equipped with the latest technological advancements to provide the two-man crew with unparalleled protection, accuracy, and lethality on the battlefield. One of the most unique features on the platform is its ability to shoot while on the move, which is a challenging task when firing a 155mm howitzer with a combat range of over 55 kilometers. With its stability and high mobility, the platform can travel at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour, and its deployment in the coming months will be closely watched by the international community. RCH-155 Kraus Maffei Wegmann, or KMW, is a European market leader in the production of heavily armored wheeled and tracked vehicles for military use. The company has a well-established reputation in the defense industry, having manufactured, repaired, and modernized a range of impressive weapon systems, such as the Leopard 1 and 2 tanks, the Puma infantry fighting vehicle, the PZH-2000 self-propelled gun, the Gepard anti-aircraft self-propelled gun, and others. With a workforce of over 4,000 employees, the company has presence in countries such as Germany, the US, UK, Brazil, Singapore, and Greece. Currently, more than 50 nations around the world rely on information, reconnaissance, and command systems developed by KMW. In 2014, KMW took a step further and introduced the Boxer Remotely Controlled Howitzer, or Boxer RCH-155. Developed as a private venture, it's one of the world's most advanced barreled artillery systems, combining automated artillery firepower and protected wheeled mobility. Moreover, it employs the Remote Controllable Artillery Gun Module, or AGM, and the GTK Artec Boxer Wheeled Multipurpose Armored Vehicle Chassis. KMW has stated that, quote, the synthesis of the time-tested NATO JBMOU 155mm L-52 main gun and the unmanned AGM on Boxer chassis results in a unique level of artillery effectiveness, with a present range of up to 54 kilometers through 360-degree azimuth and all charge and elevation ranges without requiring support. Combining both systems provides military forces with new mission capabilities for the battlefield, allowing operators to fire while on the move, target moving objectives or static defenses, or simply reposition the artillery to increase range and focus on other targets as the war zone evolves. Artillery Gun Module KMW has taken measures to ensure that the RCH-155 is a future-proof platform with a unique network-based system architecture that can be expanded to incorporate autonomous driving and control capabilities. Weighing over 39 tons, the RCH-155 measures 10.4 meters in length, 2.99 meters in width, and 3.6 meters in height. The artillery gun module, or AGM, used with the RCH-155 was first introduced by the company in 2004 and is an air-portable, self-propelled howitzer based on the Panzer Haubitze 2000 system. The fully automated and remotely operated turret is armed with a Rheinmetall 155mm L-52 rifled gun, and the gun's barrel has a small radar unit that measures the muzzle velocity. Compared to the PZH-2000, the RCH-155 is lighter, cheaper, and more powerful. KMW has equipped the RCH-155 with a high-precision navigation system and a fire control computer, with integrated ballistics and radar data transmission connections to an artillery control system to enhance accuracy. The barrel, which is almost 8 meters long, can handle a firing rate of 9 rounds a minute without overheating or performance issues. In addition, a fully automated projectile loading system helps the crew stay focused on other tasks while maintaining the rate of fire in combat scenarios. And the gun also features a fully automated loading system for modular charges and a fully automatic electrical gun laying system. The AGM has a combat load of 30 rounds 
and can store 144 propellant charge modules in its auto-loader system. It can also be fitted with a self-protection smoke grenade launching system and has a combat range of over 56 kilometers, although this can vary according to the type of projectile used. In the end, it adds to the impressive features of the RCH-155 platform, including high precision, automation, and expanded capabilities for the future. Boxer Vehicle Chassis The GTK Artec Boxer, a versatile wheeled multi-purpose armored vehicle chassis, has been in service since 2009 as an armored personnel carrier. It boasts several variants and has been employed in a variety of combat and non-combat roles, including infantry fighting vehicle, command vehicle, anti-aircraft defense, and counter-battery radar. Featuring a two-person crew, the Boxer chassis offers outstanding survivability and protection against mines, small arms fire, and other explosives. Moreover, its turbocharged diesel engine provides over 815 horsepower, allowing the crew to be extremely mobile on the battlefield, while reaching speeds of up to 100 kilometers, with a combat range of 700 kilometers. An auxiliary power unit is also included in case the main engine shuts down, and it can power all the systems and enable the vehicle to reach safety for immediate repair. Footage of the RCH-155 demonstrates its ability to navigate testing grounds with ease, overcoming basic obstacles without any issues. Even more remarkable is the RCH-155's capacity to fire while in motion. Although the gun exhibits some noticeable recoil, this capability will undoubtedly lead to the development of new operational strategies and tactics. Ukraine support. In December of 2022, the German government revealed that the Bundeswehr would further bolster the Ukrainian military's firepower by delivering an additional 18 RCH-155 self-propelled guns. Throughout 2023, the German federal government intends to provide over 2.2 billion euros of military support to Ukraine, including both lethal and non-lethal assistance. Concerning the 18 RCH-155 self-propelled guns, the military indicated that, quote, this is an industrial delivery, which is financed from the funds of the Modernization Initiative. Some of the deliveries involve repair work or are still in production. In addition, some training services are still provided. As various military analysts have observed, Ukraine will become the first operator of these self-propelled howitzers, but since the RCH-155 has not been mass-produced, the deliveries are expected to take some time. Following the government's announcement, KMW's advisor, former British officer and military analyst Nicholas Drummond, posted on social media, quote, Sometimes combining two proven solutions into a new concept can be revolutionary, while avoiding significant risk. Production of the Boxer RCH-155 for Ukraine has begun. Real Combat Testing The delivery of these state-of-the-art motorized artillery vehicles will significantly bolster the military capabilities and morale of the Ukrainian military, which initially resented Germany's support when the conflict erupted in February 2022. Moreover, the war in Ukraine will mark the first time the RCH-155 is deployed in actual combat, enabling KMW to assess its off-road performance, maintenance, and overall capabilities to upgrade it accordingly. The platform's performance across the battlefields of Eastern Europe will determine if KMW's design can supplant the American M109 Kuwest of the Swiss Army. According to Oleg Danilov from Meja, Kraus Maffei Wegmann is staking its reputation on proving the RCH-155's effectiveness and showcasing its concept as more innovative than the Archer self-propelled guns developed by BAE Systems. Should KMW succeed, it may secure the contract to replace the American 155mm M109 self-propelled howitzers utilized by the Swiss Army and potentially draw the interest of international buyers for the RCH-155. For now, it is only a matter of time before the Ukrainians receive their artillery gun modules and provide their assessment of the weapon's performance. Thank you for watching our video. 
We hope you enjoyed the content we presented. If you want to stay up to date with our latest releases, please subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels and hit the bell icon to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. We publish regularly, so stay tuned.